Hi everyone, welcome to the VAC's Pottery Studio. Have you ever seen a monster before? What would your monster look like? I always thought it would be fun to have my very own monster. So today, we're going to be creating Pinch Pot Monster Mouse. So for this project, we're going to need acrylic paint, some water, a toothpick, a monster mouth template or a scrap piece of paper and some clay. You can use air dry clay like I'm using or you can make your very own asalto clay using the recipe and the video found on the VAC resource page. To start, we are going to create a sketch of what we want our monster mouth to look like. So as you can see here, I've decided to give my monster these big fangs and spikes running down along the back as well as two snake-like eyes. This helps us envision the project before we start sculpting. Once you finish your planning sketch, you're going to take a palm-sized amount of clay and roll it into a ball. We want to get it as even and as smooth as possible. As your hands work the clay, your hands will take moisture away from it, so if you notice that it's starting to crack or it's becoming difficult to work with, you can just take a little bit of water on your finger and add it to the clay. So next, we are going to gently push our thumbs into the center of the clay and begin shaping our monster mouse by moving or pinching the clay around the sides to create a bowl shape. We want to make sure that the sides and the bottom of our monster mouse are about a quarter inch in length or about half the size of your pinky nail. Because if they're any thinner than that, they can crack and break when they dry and then our projects will be ruined. Gently press one side of the bowl onto a flat surface like this so that your monster mouse will sit up. So we're going to set the base of our monster mouth aside for now. And then we're going to take some of our remaining clay to work on details. So you can make fangs or eyes or spikes um, and add them to your monster. So to make our eyes, we're going to take a little bit of clay, about that, and we're going to roll it into a tiny ball. And then I'm going to make two eyes for my monster, so I'm going to roll two balls, but you can make as many as you like. To attach our eyes, you're going to take your toothpick and scratch the bottom of your eye where you want it to attach as well as where you would like to attach it on the base of your monster mouth. And then add a little bit of water. Next, you're going to gently press it down, not too much. And what I like to do to make sure it stays nice and firm is I'll take my toothpick and put a little bit of clay Press a little bit more of the clay down onto the base to ensure that it will stay on after drying. Because I've also decided to add fangs to my monster, I'm going to take some more clay. I'm going to roll it out and then forge it into um, a monster thing. Then we're going to attach our fangs the same way that we attached our eyes. So again, 
creating texture on both pieces and then pushing the clay together to make sure it holds. It's very important that you make sure all your pieces are secured before it dries because once um, the clay dries you won't be able to stick it back on unless you use glue. Once you've added all your details, we're going to set it aside to dry overnight. And then once your piece is completely dry, we are going to paint it with some acrylic paint. And you can paint it any color that you want. I've started with this one, so you can see I've given him big white fangs and we're going to paint him purple and his spikes black. So I've chosen to paint directly onto the clay for this one because I'm using dark colors, but if you want to use brighter colors like my other Monster Mouth, it's best to paint your clay over in a white coat first because then the colors will come out more vibrant. So once you have your creations all painted, they are done and ready to go. I can't wait to see what your monsters look like. Have fun creating and we'll see you next time.